This is an old Elias Chambers hay rake, nothing fancy. Um, when I got this, I had to transport it over an hour on an 8x12 trailer. So as you can see, it's not going to fit. So we had to dismantle the entire thing. We took this uh, tire rake off, loaded it up with a boom pole, got it here, unloaded it with a boom pole, and then uh, I put the whole thing back together again. And in doing so, I went through all the different working parts of it. And so I'm going to show you in a few videos what we did to make sure it was in good working order. And then hopefully here in a minute, I'm going to show you how well it runs. Using my boom pole, I have got the rake pretty much lined up underneath the frame. I've had to lift it around and twist and turn it several times. Unhook it from the boom pole, rehook it back up. But I think we've finally got this thing pretty well lined up. So I'm going to go ahead and start bolting it back together. May need to give this a little bit of a lift. We're not quite there yet. By using the boom pole, I went ahead and put this pin in place, so this bar is in place here. I've got these nuts installed on each side. Our wire's fixed. So this rake is free hanging here right now. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and reinstall the belt on the back. Now in order to install this belt, I need to undo this bolt down here. And when I do that, this whole assembly is likely going to come loose. So I went ahead and put my boom pole back on here. Let's figure out what size bolt that is. I think a three quarter will fit it. Okay, now we're ready to begin. So our belt is right on here. It lays right over these two top pulleys. We're going to put it on this bad boy. So we got to
Now what I'm gonna do is try and line these bolts back up. That works just by doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and put some new bolts on this because it's, it's pretty old and rusty. Make things easier for me in the future. These two bolts connected. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put back on the tensioner rod. This rod is uh, pretty much what you use to tighten the tension on the belt. this to be a little more level so I've got this lever up here and pull this pull that pull these springs over a little bit probably go a little more pretty good right there now down here this uh, this gear here that it can slide in and out of it's what uh, right now it's out of gear if I push it this way it puts it into gear um, we don't have a uh, there used to be a lever on this side you pass through here and you can put this in and out of gear pretty easily so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little pin in there when we want to have it in gear. Uh, we're not going to put it in gear until we get out in the field so that this can just roll freely in the open position. Adjusting the belt is pretty simple. We take this bolt up here loose and just turn this, open the belt up as tight as we can. Okay, now I'm going to get all of my grease fittings. I've got one here. Um, first thing I'm going to do with these grease fittings is try and clean them off. This uh, WD Specialist uh, rust release works real well, but I'm out. So I'm going to go ahead and just use regular WD-40. Just give that a good soak down. This will help loosen up the ball so I can get the, uh, the grease in there with the grease gun. You check around for other ones that need to be done. Also just going to go ahead and put some WD down in some of these old cracks. Don't know when the last time this thing was really lubed up. Now I can go ahead, put my gun here on the grease fitting, and uh, This bad boy filled up with some grease. It's essential to remember to hit these grease fittings. You know, maybe before each use. 
make sure that you've got plenty of grease on those bearings. Okay, now we've got everything lubed up real good. Our hay rake is hanging. I'm gonna show you a couple other quick adjustments on this. This lever right here, when you crank that, it's gonna pull the entire rake up off the ground. Um, this lever up here, adjusting these springs back and forth, balances out the rake this way. This level lever here brings the rake up and down. Uh, some of your nicer models have better systems, but this is just an old Elias Chambers. Alright, I got my bolt in there to keep that in gear. I've adjusted my needles so that they're just about an inch off the ground.